So let's start first with my character. I played Brandon in The Christmas House and Brandon comes home with his husband in the hopes to decorate the Christmas house for their family and have this tradition they have where they take everything out of the house and they turn the house into a winter wonderland. And I come home with my brother played by Robert Buckley. And when we come home, we we my husband and I are waiting on news to see if our adoption is gonna go through and to see if we're gonna start a family of our own. And so while everything is going on with decorating the Christmas house, we're waiting to find out if our adoption goes through. And so it's a really, really fun storyline to play because you see these two men in love and just supporting each other through this adoption process and through the holidays, which we all know we need support through the holidays, right? And so to see these two men come together and just give each other unconditional love through the high times, the low times and everything in between. It's a beautiful character to get to play. It's a beautiful storyline. And what you see is at the end of the day, the husbands and the family always come back to each other and give each other unconditional love. And it's, it's such a great storyline. I love playing it. But why I wanted to play it was because this is the first gay storyline in a Hallmark Channel movie. It's the first time you see two men in love starting their own family. And that's such a groundbreaking thing because representation is important. And to represent the storyline on Hallmark Channel, I mean, it's an honor. It really is to get to, to make history and, and to play this character. And I just think about what younger me would have thought watching a movie like this at the holidays, because growing up, I didn't have representation like this. We didn't have Christmas movies that had you know, storylines of two men in love starting a family. Like we just didn't have that. So to think back to what younger me would think or feel when he watched this movie is, it's really, it blows my mind. I, I don't know what I would think. I know I would feel less scared probably, you know, and you'd feel more seen at Christmas watching this with your family. So I, I just, I can't wait for people to see it. There was an amazing moment I love this, uh, this adopt, we call it the adoption scene uh, in the film where my husband and I are outside of the house decorating it for Christmas. And we have a little bit of a tiff because we're going through, you know, the highs and the lows that a couple goes through when they're adopting a baby, you know, that's not all flowers, you know? And, and so we have this little tiff out front of the house and you see my husband comfort me and come together and we kiss. And because that's what two men who are adopting a baby and are in a loving relationship do. They kiss. That's what people, that's what couples do. And when, when the scene was over, we, there was so much anxiety and excitement, like good, like anxious nervousness to shoot the scene because we knew we were making history. And when it was over, we had members of the crew the, the, that were LGBTQ plus, they were members of the community and they were members of the crew and they came up to us. First of all, the entire crew was crying. Like every, there wasn't a dry eye on the set, but we had a few, few gay men come up to us and say, hey, um, we work on a lot of these movies. We work on a lot of Hallmark films and we do the set decoration and we put our blood, sweat and tears into it. And for the first time, we feel like we're part of the family too. And that made me, like, I'm just getting emotional talking about it. Like it's, cause it matters, right? They, they, they spend their, their time working on these movies. They, they put their energy and their, their everything into making these movies perfect. And for them to feel like they're part of the family and that they belong at the table, that's when we knew we had done something really special because they do. Everyone belongs at the Hallmark Channel table and the holiday table is bigger and better than it's ever been before. And it's not gonna stop there. We already are in talks for 2021. We already have projects greenlit in development that will make the holiday table grow even next year. And so this isn't just, this, this isn't the end. This is only the beginning for this on Hallmark Channel. And we're very excited. Of all the movies I've done, in 20 years in Hollywood, this movie is the most important to me because this character matters and this character is making a difference. If there was any message I could give to the young people out there watching this movie, it is the fact that you are never too much and you are always enough. 
and you belong at our table. And there's always, I can't even say this without crying, there's always a seat for you at our table. This movie has so much inclusion in it, but it's also the way they normalize the inclusion in this film. It's just a family in 2020 spending Christmas together. It just looks like every other family in 2020. You know, there's, it, it's the modern family and it, there's good times and bad times. The parents have some rocky times. You know, there's all these things that make it real. And I think that's what people are really going to identify with the movie when they see it is how real it is. You know, they're going to be able to identify with different characters in the film saying, oh, we've had that happen in our family or, oh yeah, mom and dad had that happen once. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be able to really connect with these characters. And when you connect with the characters, it makes you feel like you're not alone when you're watching the movies. It makes you feel like, okay, other people go through this too. I call ourselves the Griswolds of Hallmark Channel because this family on screen and off just had such a dynamic chemistry together. And it really comes through in the film when you see it, right? You see the actual brotherness between me, brotherness, is that a word? You see the brotherhood between me and Robert Buckley. We get along like real brothers. You know, we make fun of each other. We tease each other. We try to beat each other all the time. And, but at the end of the day, we always come back with love. And that's what all the family did on screen and off. We got along so well and we were poor Sharon Lawrence. All we would do is try to figure out ways to screw with Sharon Lawrence because She's mom and mom's an easy target. You always got to go for that. So we would pin clothespins on her, play all these pranks on her. And she got a real feeling of what it would feel like to grow up in a house full of boys. And so it was that energy and that chemistry that we would have offset really went on screen and really helped to create this dynamic Griswold family almost of Hallmark Channel where it's a little bit clunkier and they're a little bit, you know, more rough around the edges than some of the other families you might see on Omar channel. And that's what makes this family special. You know, they're not perfect and they, they have a lot of quirks and that's what makes them beautiful. I think what this movie is going to do that's so important is it's going to show every network in the world that inclusion is not only okay, but it's necessary and it's important. If Hallmark channel is putting out one of their biggest movies and it has a gay storyline as one of the main storylines, then every network can put, the, put out a movie like this and have inclusion in it. Because Hallmark is literally setting the bar saying, you belong here. You belong on this network. You, belong, you, you deserve to be represented on the network. And I think it's, it's, it's just setting a precedent that, that other networks have to really stand up to, step up to. To go from being, you know, start, to go from being a teen heartthrob, if you will, in Mean Girls and ha playing Aaron Samuels to now, you know, 16 years later, being grown up in a loving relationship with my partner, James, and to be not only open, but very visibly open and out to inspire everyone to, you know, feel like they belong and know that it's okay to do that. And then to do a Hallmark Christmas movie and play the first gay character, that, all of that, and then to get recognized for it. I mean, if you would have told me 15 years ago when I, you know, this shy, timid, scared Jonathan who was kissing Lindsay Lohan in a movie if you would have told me, hey, in you know, 15 years, you're gonna be out and proud and you're gonna make history and then you're gonna be on the out 100 list, I never would have believed you. I've come a long way and I'm, it, it feels nice to be recognized, I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, but just to be among the people that are, that are on that list, it's like, whoa, you guys are doing really big stuff and I'm just making Hallmark Christmas movies. But you know what, at the same time, Hallmark Christmas movies are important. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a really cool thing to be a part of this.